Hi everyone. Um, so today we are going to focus on the paper one for mathematical literacy, which was written in November 2019. So important to note is that it was 150 marks for three hours, right? And the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to do each question individually and break it up into a question per video so that it's easy for you to navigate to the question that you actually need help with. Um, and then what I will do is as I do the question, I'll explain sort of the question, but also some of the considerations we need to have around the question. Okay, so let's just jump in and see what this paper is all about. Okay, so before we jump into question one, I actually just want us to look at a couple of the instructions, right, that we get on this first page. So this is often a, a part of the paper that students don't really look at, but one thing, or there's two things I want to draw your attention to. One is that we can only round off all our answers, right, at the end, right, final answers. So don't round off in your answer, right? Because then you might actually get to an answer at the end that is incorrect, right? Because of these rounding errors that you've made, okay? And then another thing I want you to indicate, right? As I say, I indicate, big word, indicate units of measurement. Basically, make sure that when you give an answer, right? Make sure that you have units in that answer, right? If units apply. So, Saying 10 rand gives you an indication that it's for a currency, right? Whereas if you just say 10, it's like, well, what does that 10 relate to? When you actually give it a unit, you show that it actually represents something, right? It's not just this number, okay? And that's important because it gives us an indication of what you're actually calculating, okay? And that's important. So let's just jump right in and do question one. Okay, so for question one, we have... Um, I just want to make sure you can see this. Um, we have this uh, question on social grants, right? So it says, in 2019 and 2020, the South African government increased the social grants as indicated in table one below. So the, the table indicates various categories of social grants. So you get it if you're a pensioner of different ages, war veteran, someone with a dip disability, someone who has a child foster care, a care dependent, or child support allowance, right? And there's different amounts that are allocated to each of these categories. Um, there's amounts in 2019, and then it appears that this amount was increased in 2020 across all categories, right? You can see every single one increased. And the reason it increased, right, just to give you a bit of <clears throat> context, is that living expenses increase, generally speaking, from year to year, right? So they have to increase it in order for it to actually buy, have the same purchasing power, or be able to buy the same amounts in 2020 as it would in 2019. Not always the case, but that is generally the purpose of the increase, okay? So let's go to question 1.1, right? This is something I always tell my students. I say, you know, sometimes we don't understand the question we've been given, but the actual questions help us understand the context of the question, right? So let's just look and see what it's asking us. So it says here, is the type of data in table one that we've just seen here, numerical or categorical data, right? So what it's actually testing is it's testing whether you understand the different definitions of numerical and categorical, right? So numerical, the name sort of implies it, numerical means quantitative, has to do with numbers, right? And categorical means that it is more qualitative, right? It has to do with more what I would say opinion-based things or some things that are more word-related than number-related, right? So here we know, like, we have categories, right? But they can be categorized into these numerical <clears throat> values, right? So the answer here would be numerical data. Categorical data is more like your favorite movie or different cell phone brands, right? It's variation within something, whereas numerical data is saying, okay, what is the actual data or what are the points that are related to these different categories? And we can see that they have specific amounts, okay? So let's just quickly write this down. Let me just ensure that you can see because it is no good if I am doing a question and you cannot see one thing I am doing. Okay, remember to reference your questions correctly. If you don't do that, you could run the risk of actually, <clears throat> you know, not actually getting the mark for the question that you are answering. So we've said numerical data. Okay, cool. Then remember to leave a line between your questions. It just makes it a lot easier for the marker to see where different answers are, but it also leaves space for you to possibly add something if you want to. Okay, so let's now look at the second question. 
So it says, identify the modal allowance amount for March 2020. So what's important here is that we understand what the word modal means, right? The word modal actually means most. What number, another way of phrasing this would be what number appears most, right? And we also remember that it's March 2020. So we want to make sure that we're looking in the correct column. So the column we're looking at would be this one, right? So we have 7, 17, 80, and we see that that appears three times, right? If we run our eyes down this column. So it appears three times, 1800 uh, appears twice, and then 1000 appears once, and 425 appears once. Therefore, the modal allowance amount for March 2020 is 1780. Okay, and it's important here, as I said earlier, to make sure you put your RAND value in, right? Because your RAND indicates that it's a currency. It actually indicates that it means something outside of just being a number, okay? So we've done that one. Let's move on to the next question. So it says, arrange the social grants for March 2019 in descending order of value. Okay, so it's important again to see that what column that we are working in, which is this one, and to know what descending means. So another word for descending is decreasing, right? I often think of it in terms of stairs. You ascend means you go upstairs, right? Getting bigger and descend means you go down the stairs. You are descending, you're going to a lower level, okay? So let's see for 2019. So for 2019, I run my eyes down this column I see that this 1715 is my largest number and it occurs twice right so let me write that down again remember to skip a line right so 1715 and 1715 now you might be thinking like why am I writing this twice when it's the same number right and the reason we need to do that is it says a range of social grants so it's referring to every single category of social grant, regardless of whether they have the same amounts or not, right? So now we've done these two, and now we want to go and do the rest. So what is, what is the number that is largest after 1715? So we see here that it is 1695, right? And there are one, two, three of them, okay? So we say 1695, 1695 and 1695 okay and all we have left is this 9000 and 9000 what am i saying 960 right and there's 405 okay so we say 960 because that's larger than 405 and then we have 405 right so we have gone from the biggest number all the way down to the smallest number in 2019 okay so we are warring through this question, smashing it. Okay, so let's go and do 1.1.4. So it says, determine in rand. That's important. It's telling you it wants it in a measurement. The increase in the disability allowance for March 2020. Okay, so the disability allowance is this line over here. And we see that it went to 1780, but it was at 1695. So we need to say... March 2020 minus or subtract March 2019, right? So we said in March 2020, it was 1780. And in March 2019, it was 1695, okay? So the difference between the two months or between the two years right was 85 rand you can check me on your calculator if you don't believe me but that is the answer okay cool so now we've done that question um importance again to put your rand value because it's a currency and then well, let's just check we've answered that question so it says determine in rand the increase so it has increased by 85 rand do you see that from that to that perfect so then it says write down the types of allowance which represents or allowances which represents the highest amount in March 2020. So in March 2020, the highest amount, if I run my eyes down here, are these two amounts, right? Oh, I'm doing funky writing here. Okay, it's 1,800, 1,800, right? And if I push that, if I push that, what am I saying? If I look across, you say pension allowances older than 75 and war veteran allowances. Okay, so... We're going to write those two down. Pension allowances 
older than 75 so these are basically for our most seasoned citizens and then we have the war veteran allowance right for those who fought for us and they are the highest right so they're the highest you don't have to put this amount in i'm just putting it in so that i know how much it is for each of them right so i'm just gonna say it like that okay and then we have now finished 1.1 okay 10 marks in the bag easy peasy